Hi everyone, my name is Dr Nell Perry and welcome to this short video on literature beyond books. Now the term literature is normally broadly understood to refer to written works like novels and drama and poetry, as well as non-fiction works like memoir, autobiography, diaries and essays, for example. So if you decide to study a literature degree here with us at University of Kent's School of English, you'll have the opportunity to choose from a wide range of modules that explore these forms of literature. Whether it's the early modern drama of Shakespeare, for instance, or the poetry and novels of the Victorian period, or contemporary works of literature, our modules offer a wide range of different ways to approach traditional literary forms. But here at the University of Kent's School of English, we also like to understand literature in broader terms, whether it's considering the ways in which literature reflects wider culture and vice versa, or whether it's examining literary texts that take forms other than the more traditional book, poem or play. So of course we study novels and plays and poems as you would expect from any literature degree. But we also look at how these books and plays and poems fit with other kinds of cultural texts in the wider world. To give you just a couple of examples, on our first year module, Changing Literatures, you'll not only study poetry and prose and drama, but also things like literature written via social media, for instance, um, and literatures written by artificial intelligence. On another first year module called American Power, American Protest, you might study the long history of oratorical performance in the United States from presidential speeches to political activism. Now, a key part of any literature degree is learning how to engage with critical theories and how to apply those theories to literary texts. On another of our first year modules, Thinking Through Theory, you'll not only have the opportunity to engage with important critical theories like psychoanalysis, and Marxist theory, post-colonial um, and critical race theories, feminist theory, queer theory and disability theory, but you'll also learn how to apply those theories to a wide range of different kinds of texts, from traditional literary forms like poetry and prose to what we might call paraliterary forms um, like film and art and music. And this is because while we believe that um, it's really important to learn how to apply these theories to books and poems, we also think that it's vital that we understand that literature doesn't exist outside of a social context or a historical context or a political context. And that the ideas which are explored in literature reflect broader ideas within culture that we can see across all kinds of media. So alongside applying theory to prose and poetry, we learn how to apply it to films and music videos and popular music. Because as the American feminist and social activist Bell Hooks says, popular culture is where the learning is. So you'll not only learn how to close read poems and prose pieces, but also visual texts. And this will give you a really well-rounded understanding of how we might apply theory to the texts that we encounter in our everyday lives. Now, another example that I want to give of how we engage with literature beyond books is our second year module, Interactive and Immersive Fiction. This is a module for those of you who want to flex your creative muscles. So it's not only open to creative writers, it's open to anyone taking a literature degree. You would have the opportunity to become a future creator, shaping and changing the landscape 
of how we tell stories. We look at the possibilities for immersive and interactive narratives within a whole range of forms, from the immersive novel to online interactive fiction, alternative reality games, immersive theatre, virtual reality, video games and multi-platform storytelling. You will learn how to build immersive imaginary worlds and how to craft story archaeologies. You'll learn how to work collaboratively as part of a creative team and you'll learn how to pitch your ideas. So this is a module that might interest you if you have a vivid imagination that might benefit from the opportunity to run wild. Exploring all the possibilities that literature might have beyond the form of a book. The final, the final example I want to tell you about is a third year module called Poetry Beyond Text, which, as I'm sure the title implies, explores many different ways that poetry might move beyond the page. So, for instance, we look at spoken word poetry and we look at poetry films. We listen to sound poetry and we look at visual poetry. And we consider a number of poetry texts that exist across multiple forms. So as an example, in the week where we look at mixed media poetry and artists' books, we encounter the artist Dieter Roth and his literature verse, or literary sausages, which are real sausages he made from pulping different literary texts from newspapers to philosophy books. And as you can imagine, we always have really interesting discussions about these texts in our classes. And we look at different kinds of poetic text that require different reading strategies. So for instance, Heather Hunter's folding structures, which are designed to be read and manipulated physically by the reader. And we look at Claudia Rankin's uh, site-specific poetry play, A Provenance of Beauty, which took place in 2009 um, th through the South Bronx in New York and explores ideas of gentrification and community belonging. These are just a few of the different kinds of texts that we look at on the module, but hopefully they give you an idea of the rich and varied ways in which we engage with how poetry might exist beyond the page. And most excitingly of all, students then get the opportunity to make their own projects and explore what poetry might be beyond the page, whether it's through a critical essay or a creative project. In the past, students have made their own sound poetry albums, for instance. They've made poetry films, poetic objects, poetry artworks, creative essays and visual poetry portfolios, which explore the different possibilities for poetry outside of traditional page-based forms. So hopefully these examples have given you a taste of some of the ways that we engage here at the School of English at the University of Kent with literature beyond books. And how, while traditional prose and poetry and plays are vital literary forms to study as part of your literature degree, there are also lots of additional and exciting ways that we might interact with or understand literature that go beyond these forms. And we're really excited about considering all the different things that literature can be. And we hope that you are too. Thank you.